with the number six Kona Universal Strong Streamer Hook in the Vice. Next I'm going to tie in several strands of Peacock Curl for a tail. The next technique is a really, really clever way to use polar chenille. Bait fish are always darker on top than they are on bottom. So if you just wrap polar chenille on the hook, it's all going to be one color. So we're going to tie two two inch sections of rusty copper polar chenille. And to help us keep a lighter belly, we're going to tie in a full section of gold polar chenille. And now we're going to pull as many of these fibers as we can to the bottom. Next we're going to fold over the darker colored polar chenille. And tie those in right behind the eye. So you see the darker on top, light on bottom. Next, I've added a 15 millimeter articulated fish spine to the rear hook. Next, we're gonna add a few strands of peacock curl to the top of this fish spine. And we're gonna do the same process we did on the rear hook to this fish spine. Next I've got a number two Kona Universal Strong Streamer Hook in the vise. Next I'm going to add several strands of Peacock Curl right in front of the connection. the same process with the polar chenille. I'm going to add a healthy amount of peacock curl as a wing. Next we're going to add a small, medium fish skull bay fish head. This is copper. And last, we're going to use Loon UV Thin to seal the head. Mm -hmm. 
and you have Nick Groves, Polar Seaver.